typically we start fighting ice when the uh, outside temperatures get to the mid to lower teens. Uh, the racks here in each of the four bays, they'll start building ice up on the racks themselves. And then uh, once it's been cold for like that a couple days, additionally we start to get slush in, into each of the four bays. And why do we fight ice? Uh, when the river flows are up and we can keep the plants running, we actually make more money than we spend in labor to keep the plants operating over the winter. Plus it keeps the, the uh, canals clear and allows us to continue to generate once the ice quits coming in. If we just shut everything down, it would freeze up solid and then it would take twice as long for everything to thaw out in order to put the plants back online. Typically, it ranges from one to two weeks every winter up to 30 days in a winter. This year, we probably have, we've fought ice longer this winter than we had uh, in my last previous six, seven years as manager up here. Uh, typically, we've had about a two week period and this winter, it was almost a month. You know, in the, some of the winters when they were colder, they could be up here for six, eight weeks fighting ice. Um, when you do fight ice, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you've got two guys in each four bay and you've got that four bay manned around the clock. Um, during the day, you know, if it warmed up during the day, they get a little bit of a respite and they are able to get some other things done. But at night, typically they're out here non-stop. They're able to take a break ever so often. Each four bay has a warming room and they can go in, warm, warm up a little bit. Uh, they have uh, microwaves in there so they can at least heat up some food, keep themselves warm. But uh, once we start fighting it at night, they're here for the duration. Um, we, we become our own weather forecasters. We watch the weather and what the forecast is. And, and again, we intuitively know that mid, mid 15, mid teens, 15, below, you can almost count on ice. Uh, sometimes we'll get lucky if it's the, the beginning of the cold spell. It'll go a day or two before it does get cold enough to, get, to start building ice. Uh, we have some other tools we can use. We have water stored up at Stampede Reservoir. That is uh, pondage water that we can call for the water master to release the water. And um, that water is coming off the bottom of the lake, so it's actually warmer water. That does help us a little bit. Uh, kind of keeps the ice at bay for maybe a few more degrees. Uh, so it depends on what the storm front coming in looks like. If, it, uh, if we're down in the single digits, we just prepare for it and we man it. Um, if it's mid-teens or so, we wait for the uh, racks to start to freeze up. We get uh, level alarms in out of the four bay from the water level. And uh, at that point, the foreman gets those alarms and he starts dispatching people to the four bays.